Hi guys, it's Chris here from Some Bloke Who Travels A Lot and today we are at Heathrow Airport, more specifically at the Sheraton Skyline Hotel on Bath Road. Now I've reviewed many of the hotels at Heathrow Airport, from budget hotels such as the Ibis Styles and the Ibis Bath Road, through to the luxury of the Hilton T2 and even the Opera Suite at the Sofitel with many of course in between so please do check out the channel and please consider subscribing and if you ring the bell YouTube will notify you when I publish a new video review but out of all those hotels the Sheraton is quite unique and probably the reason you're here unlike most hotels at Heathrow it has a swimming pool and not just any old swimming pool but a tropical lagoon pool now more of that in a minute but let's first take a wander around the public areas and a detailed look at my room before we take a splash in the pool. Or if you want to go straight to the room, the club lounge or the pool, there are timestamps in the description below. The lagoon pool is at the centre of the hotel and surrounding that are all the main hotel facilities. Now like many Sheraton Airport hotels, it's big. And so just a walk around, it's, it's a great way of getting your 10,000 steps in. On that walk you'll discover many quieter areas, a fitness suite and again like many large airport hotels, extensive conference facilities. There was even a solicitors, now that's another first for me in a hotel. Like the hotel, dining is on a large scale. Two standouts for me were the Madhu Punjabi cuisine with a Kenyan twist. I can only apologise that I can't explain more but the football was on so I chose the sports bar and grill. my executive club room with a runway view apparently very few of the executive rooms have runway views although it did say when I was booking that the executive club room had a runway view but apparently they all have reviews of the pool area which apparently is rather special but we're going to go and have a look at that later so to begin with let's have a look now it's that lovely brown furniture but in this room it feels right it doesn't feel like it's out of date it feels rich warming and I'm a bit posh have to say I feel like I'm in a Sheraton it's an immaculate room it's got plenty of space up there it's got an enormous mirror a really good mirror flat screen TV, not an enormous flat screen TV, but plenty big enough, another mirror, very cheeky Insta 360 camera, good workspace, but, oh, 
Oh, yeah, look at that. So we've got everything. Uh, so we've international plugs. Um, good old Ethernet. I imagine that doesn't work. We'll test the internet in a second. And I will put the speeds on the screen. Notice the telephone by the bed. Telephone here, again, it's nicely signposted. So that's good. Oh, it's a walk around phone. We'll go and make phone calls in the bathtub. So I've got power sockets that reach. Well, I have one power socket that reaches. Again, the Ethernet cable. Now, cupboard. Expecting a mini bar, but no, we have a safe. It's a good size safe. We get everything in there. And yeah, nice, solid, and attached. Good stuff. Have we a mini bar here? No, by the looks of things, we have drawers. Very old school, but very lovely. Very old school. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Here we go. Oh no, it's normally the Gideon's Bible, isn't it? We have the Book of Mormon. In the comments, I wonder why that is here. It doesn't look like it's been left here. Suitcase carrier. That looks like an interconnecting door is uh, good thing for travelling with family. Nice bed. Like to do the see the pull back. Oh look at that. Watch the hand go. Ooh. Yeah, both very soft. Probably gonna need all four pillows. For those of you that love a soft pillow. No, not <laughs> for me. I might actually give them a call. They're beautifully soft, beautifully clean. So now the big test, we all know that I like a firm mattress and that's probably closer to soft for me. It's not collapse soft because that would be no good, but it's good and it's symmetric and we love all that. So we're happy. What's going to make us really happy is if we can see aeroplanes out the window. Because if you have checked the channel out, you know, I do like to stream from the airport. So, there is one thing that's good here. Uh, I might be able to get some audio on the live stream. If you're interested in watching aeroplanes on a live stream, check out the channel. It's quite a lot of footage. As I said, we might actually be able to hear them from here. So let's see what happens later on. But what are we actually going to get to see? Anyway, let's go and have a look at the bathroom. So that is through here. And we have a tea and coffee. I like this. I like a proper cup and I like a paper cup so I can take a morning coffee out and sit in the sun. I like that. A uh, bottle of complimentary water, kettle, all the doodars. Some glasses up there for room service and a cooler to use at your convenience. But this is obviously a mini bar with its automatic payments. God, I hate those. I'm not sure whether I miss having the convenience of a mini bar or relieved that if I touch the door in the wrong way, I'll have 50 pounds put on my bill. Blimey, have we got a trouser press? We have a trouser press. And we have an iron and an ironing board. Love that, it's an airport hotel. You need this sort of convenience. Crafty, very good. Right, now, down to the bathroom. Right, so we have a bathtub. We have a single head shower. We've got a washing line, <laughs> but we have a swimming pool, so that's actually pretty useful. We've got a swimming pool and not a washing line be a good thing. Two fluffy towels, fan towels, bath mats, towel that's fine, just for little grouting, a couple of marks, but otherwise pretty immaculate. I mean Sheraton is one of the classic brands of the world. We shouldn't expect it to be anything other than very nice. Let's 
let's just check the beta. And of course, absolutely immaculate, as it should be. And we have Citrum and Ripia. Body lotion, shampoo, body wash, and conditioner. So there we go. And some soap. And as I leave the room, we can have a look at the lovely Viviana. Hello. There we go. Right. That's your lot. The Club Lounge, which is open to executive room customers or Marriott Platinum or above loyalty card holders, it's a lovely space. It's quiet, all you would expect of a lounge, though unfortunately still limited service on my visit. But it also had far better runway views than my runway view room, so I spent some quality time relaxing in here with a cup of tea. Now to the pool, which was actually quite tricky to film. As you can hear, it was quite popular with children and families, which meant the camera always points the other way. But it was as described, quite often website or brochures will highlight a feature like this. And when you actually arrive, it's a huge disappointment. Not in this case. It's a large area, sun lounges and chairs are plenty. It's a pretty big pool. There's a children's splash area and a bar. So if you're booking the Sheraton for the pool, then go ahead and do so. If the pool is not for you, then think twice about the Sheraton, especially during the school holidays, as the pool makes this a very popular hotel for families, which translated certainly on my visit with kids running around everywhere, from the lobby and even in the bar. Now with me traveling solo in grumpy old man mode, this wasn't really my cup of tea. I think I'll stick with the more grown up options of the Hilton and the Sofitel. Now videos of those are coming soon, so do please subscribe to the channel and ring the bell so YouTube can notify you when they go live. Now that of course depends when you're watching the video. If they're already live, the links will be in the description, as are all my other published Heathrow Airport hotel reviews. Thank you so much for watching and happy travels.